YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Hey guys, Nate Shot. Today I am bringing you a brand new video. You guys are coming along with me because I have a lot of errands to run today. A lot of things in my life need to be fixed up. Like there's little small things that I need to do. It's like running maintenance on a car. If you own like an automobile, you have to get the oil changed. You got to bring the washer fluid up for the windshield wipers. You need to keep it nice and clean, put gas in it. And I feel like I do that like once or twice out of the month every single month out of the year because my office is a mess. I gotta mail out a bunch of things in the post. I have to go to the store to get a TV stand and a printer for my office. Now I'm gonna show you guys something, but I, I, I don't want you guys to judge me because I guess I'm not really like, I, I sometimes I think I'm OCD, but then when I look at my room, I realize that I'm not OCD uh, because it's a mess. And I feel like I procrastinate cleaning, but I'm gonna show it to you guys and I really don't want you guys to judge me. So here we go. The office is a little dirty, all right? I got the whole studio here, the microphone, but then you go over there to the left and it's just, oh dude, it's disgusting. So basically what I need to do is clean up all of this, clean off the table. There's like soda stain over there, Red Bulls, orange juice. And then you got like all my clothes, you got like dirty underwear, my MacBook, everything is everywhere. So what I want to do is clean this up and uh, so I can fit the printer there and this could be like a, a nice, good home office. So when I was telling you about a TV stand, I actually got a new TV in my room and I, I, I want to put it in this corner. So I need to go get something so that I can set it on there. Basically. I've noticed without having a TV, um, I don't really sleep as well as I should. You know, some people need something playing in the background for them to fall asleep. And I feel like when I have a TV on and I'm watching something, it doesn't let my mind wander, which normally happens when I'm laying in bed and it's pure darkness and I'm not that tired yet. I, my, I just think about everything. So we got a bunch of stuff to do today. I'm just good. feels good to be back vlogging and uh, we're going to head out. We got to go. So I was actually able to pick up a pair of the Moon Rocks. These are the Yeezy 350 Boosts, and then I've got the Turtle Doves over here. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people, if you collect shoes or, or you're a sneakerhead, a lot of people that are buying Yeezys, the, the sneakerheads will call them hype beasts. Now, now listen, I've never, I paid attention to shoes as I was growing up. I think the first pair of shoes I ever had when I was conscious enough to think about what I was going to get, like I had a pair of Air Jordans, but I never really got into like buying Jordans, you know, like like Jordans, they have their own subculture for that shoe in general, but that was just never my style. I, I, when I was younger, I was like this scrawny little white kid, I never thought I could pull off, so I never got into Jordans, but I always was picking up on the Air Max 90s before they even like relaunch those in, in every single colorway that ever existed in the last couple of years. I got into free runs Nike. I've always just been like a Nike guy, but when, when Kanye dropped the Yeezys, I was pretty hyped about it, man. And I really liked the shoe, and so I decided to start buying them. So for anybody in the comments call me a hype beast, whatever. You judge me, whatever you want to do, but I like them. I copped them. Pirate Blacks are coming up next. I'm doing it. So I made it to the bank, but I'm not gonna bring you guys in there. There's no way I'm bringing a fucking camera in with like this whole rig that I got because it's connected to like this tripod that I'm holding it with, like hands free. Look at this. I'm not holding the camera. I'm not grabbing it. And it's just like, what am I gonna show you guys? My bank account? <laughs> Look at my bank account. I'm not gonna do it. So I made it to Target, but I keep forgetting that it's the holidays and every place and every road is so ridiculously crowded. It's like. My least favorite part about LA is like anywhere you go, there are tens and thousands of people surrounding you. It's it's absolutely nuts. So I'm gonna try to get in here, get the printer, and uh, see if we can find a nice TV stand for me to put that big TV Jenna got for me in the bedroom. I got my printer, a little bit of a sidebar. I was too old for these ripstick things, but I tried one of these when I was uh, going skydiving with Red Bull. These things are fun as hell, man. I wish I wasn't too old for these. I, I would buy one in a second, man. These things are way too much fun. You guys think I should get Scump a birthday present? Maybe Embos? 
You think you'd be into something like this? One of them would. I know they would. Maybe get one of these for Justine and her dog. <laughs> one of these? Oh, dude. That'd be the best Christmas present ever. What just happened to me might be one of the grossest fucking things that has ever happened in my existence. I went to go take the printer that I bought out of the cart at Target at checkout because I wasn't going to take the cart all the way out here. The entrance all the way over there. And they don't really have a lot of those cart trolley holders. And I take this little ink, okay? I take this ink out of the cart and stuck to it was like a half-eaten piece of bologna or pepperoni in the bottom of the cart that I didn't even see. I got it all over my hands. I don't know. God knows how long it was in there. Target is gross, man. Damn. I made it back home. I think that grocery store trip turned into one of the most disgusting points in my life because there was a half-eaten piece of meat in the cart and it touched my hand. So. I came home and I scrubbed my hands like 10 times over. I think my skin is actually peeling from all the soap and hot water I used. I know it's just a piece of meat, but the fact that it was half eaten and in a grocery cart and stuck to me was, <laughs> I got a little grossed out, but I got the printer. Um, I have to go to the trunk and get it out. Uh, I had lunch and I gotta go clean my office and, and get that ready. But while I was eating, I got kind of sidetracked and I wanted to give you guys an inside tip about Netflix, okay? There are two movies that you guys need to go watch. And if you guys haven't seen them yet, I'm sort of uh, not ashamed of you guys as my hair is just absolutely everywhere. But you're a little behind the curve. Guys, if you don't know who Matt Damon is, you got to look him up on IMDB or IDMB, whatever that movie ranking site is or whatever, and watch all the movies he's in. He's a tremendous actor. But if you guys haven't seen... The Born, uh, if this could focus for me, The Born uh, Legacy, The Born Supremacy, and The Born, I think, well, I actually, I think it's the, there's three movies in this trilogy. Uh, one was, came out in 2002, one came out in 2004, and then I would imagine the next one came out in 2006. Don't screw up and watch the most recent one. Uh, it's, it's not the one with Matt Damon. I'm trying to find the name because I, I just watched it, but... Go watch the Bourne series, guys. It's some of the best action movies ever made, and you guys will absolutely love them. Let me know if you guys have seen them in the comments, but I, I, I'm telling you, if you haven't, go watch it. I've got some pretty bad bags under my eyes. I just noticed it while looking at the screen of my camera. I think I forget that I'm on camera every day for, for work and like my YouTube channel and stuff, and everyone always tells me that I have bags under my eyes, and I'm like, well... Well, I don't know what to do about that. I, I don't. I, I just don't know, but it doesn't look good. Uh, so I moved the chair out of my room. I'm about to throw on the music and uh, get this place cleaned up so that I can get the printer installed on the left. Right now, it, it looks like it looks fucking awful in here, dude. I I don't know what to say. I've got so many wires down there. I don't know how to clean that up. Normally, you wouldn't see it, but just like the garbage needs to be cleared out. All these clothes need to go downstairs. Get ready for the laundry. So hold on. We're gonna clean. I'm gonna jam some music. I got it, the speaker in the bathroom. We're gonna play and uh, I'm gonna get this done. Okay, about half an hour later and I think we're in a pretty good spot. You guys ready for the the unveiling of what Nate Shot can do when he really puts his mind to clean? Dun, 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 dun. I even vacuumed, I'm gonna show you. Three, two, one. Oh baby, it's so much better than what it was. You know, I vacuumed the floor with like a little hand vacuum. Got all the dirt, all like the crap in the right corner, in the right shelves, in the closet. And then you come onto the desk and this is where the printer is going to go uh, for the office stuff. And I wiped down all the, the, the counters with bleach wipes. I even vacuumed, got all that stuff organized over there. Um, it just looks a lot better, man. And, and a lot of the clutter has left the room. So uh, I feel like more efficient. I just feel better about my job. Um, so it's good, man. It's good. I'm going to get this printer set up here and then we'll go from there. The printer's out, got it out of the box as you guys saw it set up, and the smart man that I am goes to a store to buy a printer, buys extra ink, is all ready to be a businessman and print things out, print documents out, give a nice little John Hancock, little Matthew Haig signature, and I don't buy fucking paper, dude. Like, 
the one thing I need to make a printer work is a sheet of goddamn paper, and I didn't, I forgot to buy the paper. So, that's where I'm at right now. This is my life. After doing all these stupid things, guys, I think that's gonna be the end of the vlog today. Just wanna share with you guys my day out because I haven't really done many of them in the last couple weeks, but I am not going to get paper tonight. I'm hopping on Black Ops 3 right now, and I'm about to grind the game. Six Prestige, I think level 20, and I'd really like to get past that. So, gonna get to it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys here very, very soon. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and YouTube. We'll see you guys later. Goodbye!